This is the story of Rig East Africa. Rig East Africa is part of Rig Global, a ministry that is not just a church, but a movement seeking a real encounter with God, who still heals, sets free, and empowers every believer. The ministry has run for the last 20 years and spans over five continents. The story of Rig East Africa can be traced back to a hundred days of prayer and fasting dubbed the final push which ran between the 5th of june and the 12th of september 2022. i joined rig when we were praying for the nation for 100 days day three i joined rig on day seven of the 100 days of prayer in 2022 these 100 days of prayer and fasting for the nation of kenya were organized on instagram with daily prayers and learning following the time of prayer and fasting the members of Rig East Africa were invited for a Thanksgiving service at State House on the 25th of September, 2022. Some of the projects which Rig East Africa has been a part of since inauguration include the construction of a multi-purpose hall at the Jamuhuri short-term prison. The hall was opened on the 18th of December, 2023 by the Principal Secretary in the State Department for Correctional Services from a small request from the chaplain to create a structure that can protect the inmates from the elements came a building which can hold over 300 people and can now be used for training, church services, co-curricular activities and court hearings. Another project which RIG has been involved in is the 488 for Kibra, a public-private partnership seeking to raise 66 million shillings for the construction of an international stadium at Kibra. The project seeks to transform Olympic primary school pitch from a dusty ground to a vibrant hub of dreams. In support of this project, leader of Rig East Africa, Prophet Simtin Yamai, walked from Mombasa to Nairobi, a distance of 488 kilometers in just 15 days to raise awareness and funds for the project. The walk received support from various quarters, including political leaders such as Member of Parliament for Kibra, Mwalimu Peter Orero, and Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna. By joining the walk and contributing funds to the project, the project received goodwill and the blessing of the political leadership. We know that this project will build a bright future for the children of Kibra and we look forward to giving them an opportunity to join international teams and escape patterns of poverty. Here's to turning Olympic Primary into a vibrant hub of dreams for the people of Kibra. On the 7th of January 2024, Rig East Africa launched its inaugural service. As the visionary of this ministry spanning across 20 years across five different continents of the earth, it's our great pleasure to see East Africa championed by such an amazing and authentic leader who is dynamic in every way, governmental, and she, I, she happens to be a very special daughter to me as well. The members also continue to be equipped through such programs as the School of David, run in collaboration with Apostle Dabs Guam. Every Saturday, Rig East Africa also hosts discipleship classes at Woodley Boys Secondary School to continue to equip the saints for the Great Commission. We look forward to conquering and destroying the works of the devil as we are called to do until the Lord returns. As we launch Rig East Africa, we celebrate the leadership of Prophetess Sinti Nyamai, whose visionary leadership continues to light our path and her heart for God inspires us. Literally, I just reached out to Prophet Cynthia online and she told me, hey, General, join in. <laughs> and I've never regretted that decision ever since. Uh, Rig has helped me in my uh, spiritual growth, that is one. I was like a lukewarm Christian, I would just go attend services. The freedom of worship is what sold me out uh, in Rig, East Africa, that I'm able to come and worship my God freely. And then Rig is a, is a family of God, and we are all, we are all one. We are one body and, our, and our one God. Rig has been pivotal in really opening me up to understand my call and the nature of my mandate, even as a Christian in the prophetic and the apostolic, it has given me understanding of what is expected to me, even as an Issachar, in knowing the times and the season and what we ought to do. Before, I used to have an unction that I need more. 
I, I was attending several churches and I just kept feeling like I need more. And so at RIG, I got to understand why. I, I felt in my spirit that I wanted more. And it's because the spirit wants to use us in greater levels to do great exploits. And now at RIG, I've drastically transformed in my prayer life, reading the word and serving. And I'm already starting to see what God is doing in my life. I came to believe really the fire of God is really transferable also when you are uh, amongst people who have the same, you feel you're really connected with God, that you're really connected with the Holy Spirit. Because we have a common enemy and we need to know how to, to fight as the whole body. We are gathering for a great outpouring. I believe that God is activating us, even for revival, given the prophecies that have gone ahead of us for Rig East Africa and for the nation for a time like this. I believe that there's going to be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit for impartation and activation of what he's already spoken. Every single person will get to hear from God if they allow him to about what, what is at stake here in Kenya and what does he want us to do in this nation and for this nation, for his glory. They will also be challenged uh, to, to seek God more, to seek God deeper. I dare you and I challenge you to show up and ask God, God, I'm here. Now show me why I'm here. As I have been serving in the children's department, it gives me a joy really to impact these children. And for me, the message is really the Great Commission and making sure that there's a generation that is not missing out. Even though you're not a part of Regist Africa, this is happening even for the body of Christ to begin to understand their apostolic and prophetic mandate, that we're not called just to be born again Christians, but to begin to reach out to territories and people to ensure the purposes and the will of God is established. Come and see for yourself. Come, just be curious. Open yourself up to God and say, God, I hear there's a lot of things happening in this nation, but I want to experience you for myself. So I actually challenge and I dare anyone who hasn't made up their mind, anyone who doesn't know about RIG, but also I've been meeting many people who've been feeling like they, they need more. They've been going to church, doing their usual thing, but they feel like they need more. As RIG East Africa, we continue to take up our position and occupy until he returns.